remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. The same could not be said for Kratos, for as he sought to rebuild his soul with the help of the gods, the truth was revealed to him. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are, but we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. In the end, knowing the visions of his past would never leave him, Kratos made his way to the bluffs overlooking the Aegean Sea. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. The fate of Kratos was not as it seemed. The gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. From that point forward, throughout the rest of time, whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. with your 
Kratos! I lay down my arms, Zeus! have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No, I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. Expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak. Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the great war, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. 
Return to my time! Victory awaits! We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers. Put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague! Olympus will prevail! from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos, mankind is now ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. And so, I summoned the most powerful weapon in the world, and I placed it in the box. I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do it. Unless... Of course. When you open the box, you release the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed by the evil, fear. 
I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years, I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. But I was wrong. you took from the box is mine. From it, you gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy. A strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is hope. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down? Again? My vengeance ends now. Kratos, no! You disappoint me, Spartan. <clears throat> Something's happening. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... New giants? That's us! The first time we met the world serpent. But how? 
and our fight with Walder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. 
my name on the wall. The giants called me Loki. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You was her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We you missed it. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Ball. 